Not much, Ken. And as you can see, Harvey still holding together. Will make a third landfall probably later on tonight into the early morning hours. Coming up a little bit later, I'll show you the exact first, second, then potential third landfall. A lot of you've been asking questions about that, but I want to show you the rainfall amount right now that is continuing to fall. And you can see heaviest rain near Port Arthur, some near Galveston, some near Beaumont, some pushing its way through parts of the southwest sides of Louisiana. But really notice this picture, and you at home notice this also here in North Texas. You can definitely tell when the rain gets a little bit more light, or we have light rain falling. That is happening right now through parts of Harris County on that west side, in the northwest side of Harris County. Not a lot of rain continuing to hold on. As we widen out the view, a lot of dry air getting pulled into Harvey as Harvey is drifting its way a little closer towards land. But take a look at this. This is breaking weather information for you. We have a new all time record now for the continuous United States for rainfall from a tropical system at 51.88 inches. The U.S. record is in Hawaii from Hurricane Hiki at 52 inches. We could top that. So, what is tropical cyclones in Texas? Harvey now at 51.88 inches. Where's Harvey going? You can see that right now it is about 55 miles south southwest of Port Arthur. We'll probably make landfall late tonight into the early morning hours, very close to Port Arthur, right on the border of Texas and Louisiana as a tropical storm. Continue then as a tropical depression, tropical low, and then rain itself out by Saturday afternoon in parts of Kentucky and in the Ohio River Valley. So here's that future sky forecast for that landfall, and then you can see a lot of rain pushing northwest. I think probably in the next four to five hours, rain from Harvey really. The ending in Houston, however, with so much water that is there, they're going to be dealing with more thunderstorms popping up. But look at the wind gusts gusting up to near 50 miles per hour. So, seeing some of that water driving some of these inlets, that water in there, there's a small storm surge because of that. So, those sustained winds, as you can see, going through the remainder of the night tonight into tomorrow, will be in parts of Louisiana and also into parts of Texas. That's where there are tropical storm warnings remaining in effect. Here in North Texas, we are dry. We have that dry air pulling in overhead and the potential rainfall as we go through. Late today, tomorrow, and even into to Thursday shows really nothing here in the Metroplex. Maybe in Palestine, about a tenth of an inch of rain down near Huntsville, a little more than an inch because Harvey has shifted a little further off to the east. So, improving skies for us as we go through the next couple of days. We dropped rain chances down to 30 to 20 percent, and we've even really taken rain out of the forecast as we get closer towards Friday and the Labor Day weekend. Temperatures then into the low 90s, small rain chances on Monday and Tuesday. Kate.